Okay, so today basically what we want to do is we want to show in application some of the chemical differences between hypochlorous acid products and traditional diluted sodium hypochlorite bleach products. And the way we're going to do that is by having samples of each and then a little bit later on we're going to show the difference between these cleaner and disinfectant all-in-one-step products, uh, some of the little uh, nuances there. Now the way we're going to show this is by a pH meter here to which we've, we've calibrated it and we've established a baseline at 7.0. And we've done that with this buffer solution. That's gonna measure pH. And then the parts per million is gonna be measured with these high range chlorine test strips that have a nice little color pattern here that'll tell us uh, roughly what our parts per million uh, will be. So I'm gonna start with the hypochlorous acid solution. If you can see here, compared to the color, it's around five or 600 parts per million. Nice blue color. And I'm gonna do that with the sodium hypochlorite diluted solution here. You can see we're roughly the same parts per million. If you compare the two strips, now I'll slide that over here. Now we're gonna show the difference and it's gonna be the, the pH value. So I'm gonna take this probe and I'm gonna start with the hypochlorous by dipping it in here. If you can see the pH value, we're landing on about a 6.7, which is pretty darn neutral. It's technically an acid, that's why it's called hypochlorous acid, just because it's three clicks south of 7.0, which is dead neutral. But if you to put it in perspective, Aquafina and Dasani water are range around 6.0 pH. Now let's move over to the sodium hypochlorite bleach solution. Watch how the pH just spikes through the roof and it's gonna land a little bit uh, a little bit south of pH 12. So the difference you're gonna find is this high pH is really where you start getting into damaged surfaces, you're gonna uh, bleach clothing, and it's just not very safe because of that high non-neutral pH. Okay, so moving on here, we're gonna demonstrate these uh, two-in-one cleaner disinfectant products. Uh, there's a lot of them out there and we always recommend doing a cleaning step and then an additional step to disinfect. In other words, you can't disinfect a dirty surface. And the challenge with a lot of these uh, one-step cleaner disinfectants uh, is just uh, an example of what I'm about to show you. So we're going to test the pH first. We're going to expect this to be high by looking at the pH because there's a soap in it, there's a surfactant, so we kind of expected it to be higher than a neutral product. Um, but because it has a soap in it and a disinfectant, when I take a chlorine test strip to expose this, uh, the tip of the strip to the disinfectant to show the chlorine, you'll see this sort of uh, yellowy film. And that's the soap part of the product. And what happens is when you spray that on a surface, it actually uh, lays heavier than the disinfectant. And if you look closely underneath, you can see the dark blue there. So there is sodium hypochlorite in that, but when you spray it on a surface, like I said, you're actually going to prevent the chlorine from getting on the surface to kill the germs and to do what you intended it to do. So by spraying this product and then letting it sit, you're creating a barrier between the disinfectant and the actual uh, uh, the germ itself, much like a bio load so that's why we always recommend a pre-cleaning step instead of just expecting these two-in-ones to do it all for you. All in all, the purpose of this video was to demonstrate some of the chemical characteristic differences between hypochlorous at a neutral pH and hypochlorite-based products at a higher and more caustic pH. Obviously, we recommend using hypochlorous due to its non-synthetic and sustainable nature, but we also recommend it because of its efficacy against germs. In some of our other videos and articles, we describe why hypochlorous is 80 to 100 times more effective than these traditional products, so feel free to check those out. Hopefully, this video provided some valuable insight. If you want to learn more, reach out anytime by social media or visit our website at annihilair.com.